Wednesday. We've got legendary tour guide Freddie Johnson here. Freddie, you take it away. Hey, Daddy O. Well, listen, you're probably wondering what in the world is going on here. This is Whiskey Wednesday, and we're sitting here getting ready to talk about some Buffalo Trace bourbon cream and a Freddy's root beer float. So uh, I want to take you back in time for just a moment as we do this. Uh, I want you to think about Buffalo Trace and the heritage, honor tradition, embrace change, and let's think about something. It's family focused. So if you remember uh, back when you were a child, I remember uh, we used to have uh, Sunday dinners and what you would do is you would, uh, the church would bring in a big wash tub full of sodas and uh, covered with ice. And what we would do is we would always be the ones that would sneak into the, into the wash tub first. And the first thing we would do is we would grab one of those really icy cold root beers from deep down in the tub. We would open that sucker up. Ah, yes, and you'll notice something. It's a twist-off cap. But if you really want to take it back, get yourself a bottle opener. Make yourself feel like you're back in the day. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you something here. This bourbon cream that we're so crazy about is actually made with real birch oil, real vanilla. The vanilla comes in from Madagascar. And so the first thing you're going to notice is when you do... A good pour, you always get that nice foamy head on it. You take a sip of it. Now that's good. That's good. So your palate, just like with a good bourbon, your sense of smell and taste, it just brings you back in time. Uh, the flavors are nice and rich and smooth. But what would happen is, you know, that's pretty good on its own. Mmm. But if we were a kid, what goes so well with it? Ice cream. Now, let's just see. Let's just see. What if we made ourselves a root beer float? Now, this. This is what you get in trouble over. Because when we were younger and we would do this, what you do is a couple of, we'll do, we'll make it a goodie. We have a recipient of this, so we're going to fix him up pretty good here. All right, so. Get that ice cream in there. Oh, man, that looks good. You can get this ice cream at the gift shop. Um, on a day like today, a lot of people come in, they'll get their root beer, they'll get the ice cream, and they'll do this. So this is a traditional root beer float. You got that? Now, that looks pretty good on its own, doesn't it? Okay? So, what if, what if, I'm going to uh, see if this really meets the standard here. Now, if you have a really long spoon, you can do that, but you can also do it like this. I always like to do it like this. If you, you know, if you make a really good root beer float, as a kid, we used to see who could make the best mustache. So what you'd do is you'd swirl it around like that, and you'd get it going, and then you'd take a big slurp of it, and you'd go like... And you always get it to cover up your lips, you know. And then you'd make a mess, and then your parents would get all over you. But that's pretty good on its own. But let's just see, what would happen if we took that to the next level? Now, as we're doing this, as I'm about to make this next one for you, we're going to have some fun here. So this is your traditional root beer float. And this is the one that everybody's going crazy over. So if you come into Buffalo Trace and you do a tour, after we finish the tour, what we do is we do, let me get another fresh bottle of root beer here. We do what we call... an adult root beer float. And for the adult root beer float, what we're going to do is we're going to take the bourbon cream. Now, to take this to the next level, we're going to add some ice cream to it. Just, 
just, now this is not just any ice cream. You'll notice this is bourbon and honey. So you can get this in the gift shop also. So after you leave out of here, you can actually take this to the next level. So we're gonna have the bourbon cream. And the cool part about the bourbon cream, it's a real dairy product, so it complements the ice cream. It's a real dairy product. We take Buffalo Trace bourbon to the dairy, infuse it into the cream while it's being made, and uh, basically we make an adult root beer float out of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cream We're going to make us a nice, drop that down in there, add us some bourbon cream. So, Freddie, while you're mixing this up, we did have a question from Facebook from Micah. Uh, you know, other than these great floats you're making, do you ever mix your root beer with uh, any other Buffalo Trace products? Oh, yeah. You know, some days are better than other days. And some days, you know, even though we have a little bit of Buffalo Trace bourbon in the bourbon cream, sometimes you just have to take it to the next level, Alan. So, yeah, so I'll hit it with a splash of Buffalo Trace bourbon. Takes it up a notch. Your friends, if you make smoothies out of it and you do this, they think this is the best product in the world. So what you can do now is we got that bourbon cream and we've got the ice cream and we've got the root beer. And so now, essentially, you've made an adult root beer float. I'll tell you what, if you've not had this one before, you are in for a treat. You can make it into a smoothie. Um, the fun part about it is you whip it up and you do that and you can start to see it thicken up and this one you now that's good. That's really good. As the guy says, bam! Bam, bam! Alright, now you ready for this? When you come into Buffalo Trace, you can get this in the gift shop or you can get it online. Now, the cool part is this. This is where it becomes a family challenge because there are little caricatures, caricatures all around here. And the objective is to see how many, how many times can you find Freddy in the six-pack. There are at least six. So your challenge is to see who can find them first. All right? Somebody asked me about, well, where did this isn't it neat come from? It's because I started playing around the distillery when I was five years old. And I was fascinated with all the things that went on around here. You know, everything was neat. That was back when I was a kid, you know. Everything was neat. Everything was cool. Um, and I would just ask them about, well, why do you do this? Well, how do you do that? Oh, look at the mash fermenting in the vat. Isn't that neat? So you begin to realize I started playing here as a child. So I was fascinated with Buffalo Trace Distillery and all the things that go on around here. So I love to do tours for families because all of a sudden you realize it's not just the product in the bottle. You know, bourbon has been around for a while. Root beers have been around for a while. It's something that's just a tradition. So all of a sudden you realize the product in the bottle, let's just think about it. That root beer is just a conduit. That fun moment that you have with your kid when you're making the root beer floats, that carries on. It's a legacy that you share with your children today. So all of a sudden you realize it provides you with an opportunity to spend time with friends and family. That's what this is all about. So Freddie's Root Beer is carrying on with the tradition, okay, that was established many years ago with me and my father and my grandfather here at Buffalo Trace Distillery. So if you get a chance, come by to see us. Uh, we want you to think about these because there's more, as they always say, but wait, there's more. So yes, yeah, so there are people that come in and believe it or not, when I ask them, how do they drink their bourbon? And they'll say, Freddie, you know, this is crazy but I actually like my bourbon with root beer, which blew me away because I've always thought about the root beer floats until we started doing the bourbon cream. And then we realized the bourbon, the root beer, and the cream really pr taste pretty good together. So there are some other products that are coming along that uh, probably you would be more inclined to uh, mix your bourbon with, but that's another Whiskey Wednesday.
<laughs> My favorite memory of Buffalo Trace, believe it or not, there's a warehouse that you get to go into. It's called Warehouse C. And my favorite memory of Buffalo Trace is when my grandfather opened the doors to Warehouse C, he threw those doors open, and I got to walk into Warehouse C with my grandfather with all these barrels around me. The aroma, the atmosphere in there, uh, it takes me back to my childhood when I used to play in there and uh, get into trouble trying to climb around on the barrels. So that's my favorite memory of Buffalo Trace. Well, folks, you get a chance to come down to Buffalo Trace, come down, take a tour. Uh, we offer four different tours. They're all complimentary. You do have to make a reservation in advance. Uh, but uh, come see us. If, you, if we're booked up, you can always do a tasting. Uh, but uh, on behalf of Buffalo Trace, thank you.